Hello friends and welcome to a new video. Today we will see what is a lattice. Okay. So now for getting to know what is a lattice, we must know what is a lower bound, upper bound, least upper bound and greatest lower bound. So let's start. Okay. So we will start with understanding what is a lower bound and upper bound. Okay. Now here we have a Hasse diagram representing a partially ordered set. We have to find the lower and upper bounds of the subsets a comma b comma c and j comma h. Consider the subset a comma b comma c. The upper bounds of this subset are the elements e, f, j and h. Now e, f, j and h are the upper bounds of this subset because you can see that a is related to e, b is related to e and c is related to e and because of that e is a upper bound for this set a comma b comma c. Now you can also see that a is related to f, b is related to f and c is related to f. So similarly f is an upper bound for the set a comma b comma c. So in a similar manner we can see that j and h are also upper bounds for the set a comma b comma c. Now we can define what is an upper bound for a set clearly. Okay, so when S comma R is a partially ordered set and A is a subset of the power set, now what is an upper bound of this subset A? That is a question. Now we say that if U is an element of the set S such that A is related to U for all A belongs to the subset A, then U is called the upper bound of the subset A. So you have to understand that now u is called an upper bound of the subset a of the partially ordered set when whenever a is related to u for all the elements a in the subset a and hence it makes sense that e f j and h are the upper bounds of the set a comma b comma c so one thing we can note is that there can be more than one upper bound as we already saw that e f j and h are the upper bounds of the set a comma b comma c now when we consider the set j comma h you can observe that there is no upper bound for this set because there is no element a such that j is related to a and h is related to a that's why we have no upper bound for the set j comma h okay now we'll talk about the lower bound lower bound of the set a comma b comma c is a itself now a is the lower bound for the set a comma b comma c as a is related to a a is related to b and a is related to c okay let's make the definition more formal so Suppose that S comma R is a partially ordered set. Now A is the subset of the power set. Now what is the lower bound of this subset A? That is the question. Now if L is an element of the set S such that L is related to A for all A belongs to the subset A then L is called the lower bound of the set A. So L is a lower bound of the set A when L is related to A for all the A belonging to the set A. Now consider the set J comma H here. What is the lower bound of this set? So as an exercise try to infer what is the lower bound for the set J comma H. Okay. So far we have seen what is lower bound and what is upper bound for a set A which is a subset of the partially ordered set. Now we are going to talk about greatest lower bound and least upper bound. Let's see what is a least upper bound means. As we can understand from the name itself, it is an upper bound. Now it has to be least. Now how? So least upper bound of the set A, which is a subset of the partially ordered set. So least upper bound of set A is an element X. If x is related to a for all the elements a belonging to the set of upper bounds of the 
set A. Now, for set A, we have an upper bound, right? Now, you take all the elements in the upper bound. If it is the case that X is related to all those elements in the upper bound, then we say that X is the least upper bound of the set A. It is the case that there is only one such element if it exists, implying that there is only one least upper bound if it exists. Now we can prove it using proof by contradiction. I leave it as an exercise. Okay, so please try out that. So now let's talk about what is greatest lower bound. So again, greatest lower bound means it is a lower bound, right? Now an element y is called the greatest lower bound if it is the case that a is related to y for all a belonging to the lower bound set of the set capital A. So you take the lower bound set of the set A. Now greatest element means when all of the elements in the lower bound set is related to this particular element y then y is called the greatest lower bound. Okay. Greatest lower bound and least upper bound is actually unique if it exists. Okay. We ask a question here. In this Hasse diagram, which is a representation of the partially ordered set, so we want to find the least upper bound for the set B, D, G. Okay. We have B, D, G, which is a subset of the partially ordered set. We want to find if there exists a least upper bound for this set. Okay. Now we know that upper bound for B, D, G is the set G, H. G and H are the upper bounds of the set b comma d comma g so here g and h are the upper bounds right now we can see that the least upper bound is g as g is related to g and g is related to h that's why g is the least upper bound here we also ask what is the greatest lower bound for the set b comma d comma g if it exists now we can see that for the set b comma d comma g the lower bounds are the elements B and A. So the set A comma B will be the lower bound set for the set B comma D comma G. And if you want to find the greatest lower bound, then the element B is the answer. B is the greatest lower bound for the set B comma D comma G. As A is related to B and B is related to B. That's why B is the greatest lower bound for the set B comma D comma G. Okay, next question. Find the greatest lower bound and least upper bound of the sets 3, 9, 12 and 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 if they exist in the partially ordered set set plus comma divides. Okay, so the set is the set of positive integers and the relation is the divides relation. So let's consider the set 3, 9, 12. So lower bound of this set is element a when a is related to 3 a is related to 9 and a is related to 12 so the relation here is a divides relation so a is a lower bound when a divides 3 and a divides 9 and a divides 12 implying a divides 3 9 and 12 so the only such a's are 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 are the two elements which divides 3 9 and 12 okay so the lower bound set for this set is the set 1 comma 3. Now the greatest lower bound is 3 because 1 divides 3 right? and 3 divides 3. So the greatest lower bound is 3 here. Now considering the set 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 5 comma 10, we get that the only lower bound for this set is the element 1 and hence the greatest lower bound is 1 itself. Now let's consider the upper bound for the set 3, 9, 12. Now upper bound for that set is an element A. If 3 is related to A, 9 is related to A and 12 is related to A. The relation R is a divides relation. So it has to be the case that 3 divides A, 9 divides A and 12 divides A. So if you observe here, such A's are nothing but those divisible by the least common multiple or LCM of the numbers 3 comma 9 and 12 and LCM is 36 okay so 36 is the least upper bound here
In a similar manner, we get that 20 is the least upper bound for the set 1, 2, 4, 5 and 10. Okay. Alright. Now we are ready to define what is a lattice. A lattice is a partially ordered set in which every pair of elements has both a least upper bound and a greatest lower bound. Then it is called a lattice. So a lattice is nothing but a partially ordered set, right? So, but the only condition is that every pair of elements you take, it has to be the case that there is a least upper bound for all the pair of elements and there should be a greatest lower bound for all the pair of elements. Then we call such partially ordered set as lattice. Okay. Now, understanding what is a lattice, we ask, is the partially ordered set, set plus comma divides a lattice? So, let's see. Now, you take any element a comma b belonging to the set of positive integers. Least upper bound of a and b is going to be the least common multiple of a and b. You can verify that, okay? And greatest lower bound of a and b is going to be the greatest common divisor of a and b. Now, in this case, when there is least common multiple and greatest common divisor for every pair of elements, we can say that the partially ordered set, set plus comma divides is a lattice. Next question, is the partially ordered set, set 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 and the divides relation a lattice? Now if you see here, you take the elements 2 and 3, they don't have upper bound. Now, up, they don't have upper bound in the set S here, which is 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5. Hence, they don't have the upper bound in this set. They don't have the least upper bound. And hence, it is not a lattice. Okay, next example question. Is the partially ordered set, set 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 8 comma 16, comma, that divides relation, a lattice? So, is this a lattice? Now, the answer is yes. Because if you see any two elements you take, for example, 2 comma 8, the least upper bound is 8 here and you take 2 comma 16, the least upper bound is 16 here. You take 2 comma 8, the greatest lower bound is going to be 2 here. 8 comma 16, the greatest lower bound is going to be 8 here. So if you can see here, the if you take any two elements A comma B from the set, the least upper bound is nothing but the maximum of a comma b the larger element of the two elements okay that is the least upper bound and whenever you take a comma b the greatest lower bound is going to be the minimum of a comma b the smaller element of the two elements that is going to be the greatest lower bound and hence it is a lattice now here are some Hasse diagrams representing the partially ordered sets so there are two uh, Hasse diagrams we can see those two represents two partially ordered sets. Now we want to find out uh, whether they are lattices or not lattices. Okay. So we can see that the figure number one is a lattice because as we, as you can verify that whenever we take any two elements from this faucet, we get that they have a least upper bound and a greatest lower bound. So the figure number one representing the partially ordered set is a lattice. Now the figure 2 is not a lattice because you take the elements B and C. What is the upper bound of B and C? The upper bound of B and C are the elements E, D, F. So E, D and F are the upper bounds here. Now whether there is a least upper bound here, we can see that there is no least upper bound for B, C as d is related to f e is related to f okay we cannot say one particular element here which is related to all these elements here e d and f so we we, ha we don't have a particular element here which is related to e and d and f and hence there is no least upper bound here and hence it is not a lattice okay with that we conclude this video thank you